On Friday, he asked, where have cute mommy went? Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. A how good girl, Akrawak? I am a salty person. Now, am I salty about the fact that nearly more than 50% of the world's population is in a relationship and I'm not? No. No, what I am salty about is the fact that the other 50% are mostly seeking to find someone to be in a relationship with while I am afraid of commitment and talking to people. The irony of being attracted to more than one gender and then <laughs> not getting good either way. But today, we have a solution for that. I dressed up all nice and dapper because today, we are gonna be going through Pinterest for the first time. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello everyone, it's Vintage Ad File here, back again to introduce you to the future of posters. This plate. This plate is a metal poster that allows you to capture your passions and interests on the good quality surface. Here are some posters that I have chosen. First of all, this fat frog. I love him. I love, I love him so much. Look at him. His name is Bobbert. I also got this exolotl wave poster to symbolize you all. I like how dumb this guy looks, which is perfect because it represents you guys. My favorite part, however, has to be the mounting. It is magnetic, meaning you can just tear, take, and attach it in 20 seconds just like that. No power tools involved, which is great because I could kill myself with a screwdriver. The packaging is incredibly safe, done in a way that prevents any possible scratches from happening. And there are over a million designs that you can choose from on the Dispate website. If you're interested, do check it out using my discount link in the description and comments below. And now back to your regular train rack. Oh, so I forgot to mention this. But in an attempt for online safety, I am going to be using pictures of my very real cousin for this account. Remember kids, lying is okay sometimes. And also, don't, don't do anything I did in this video, please. Oh, uh, what's my first name? Jenny? <laughs> what if we just give Jenny the most diverse sets of interests possible? She's into J-pop, feminism, LGBTQ rights, and then finally, heavy metal. Alright, I'm gonna find photos of Jenny to use for this. This is the first one. I'm just gonna zoom in on it. It's gonna look like Jenny doesn't go out at all, but you know what's more relatable than that? Okay, let's start the tutorial. Swipe right to light. <coughs> that was left. I am what? Is this? Have we begun? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you know, let's just swipe right for everyone. It's a match! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Should I say something nice? Oh my god, he has a dog! <gasps> I love your dog! Is it a boy or a girl? Why am I only getting men? Where are the women? Okay, it's only... Okay, I want women. I want everyone. Hey! <laughs> She's so pretty! Alright men, alright boys, I have spent a lot of my life as a woman and I can tell you exactly right now how to woo the ladies. Your boys are Rizzler here to help you out. <coughs> oh shit, I was in the lead! I was in the lead swipe! The wrong direction! No, come back! Come back! Don't lose Adriana, I don't want to! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry Adriana, go away Kai, you're not Adriana. Go away Danish, you're not Adriana. Go away Elle, you're not Adriana. Why are they all men? Ken? Okay Ken, you're good. It's a match! Where are the women? Where are the women? Oh, finally! A woman! Oh, she is so pretty. Alright, now watch the Rizzler. It was, it was not a match. It was not a match. What is it with the women and their gorgeous selfies? And then you just have guys who just pose like this with the dirtiest mirror I've ever seen. This is a self-diss. Have you seen what my mirror looks like? And then we're now, 
Why do they just have a United States of America dollar bill on their table in front of a hundred plus? What is this supposed to symbolize? That they're rich? Currency conversion? Hello? Oh wait, I don't even I didn't even do my profile yet. No wonder no one's matching with me. Okay, let's do the about me. New to Tinder, looking forward to meeting people. Never dated before. So giving this a shot. Education level in university. I not sure if I want children. I am vaccinated. I am what's the most fucked up personality type out there? It probably is an E. It's probably ESFE. How often do you drink? Not for me. Non-smoker. I exercise every day. Extremely buff. Trying to make myself as normal as possible. Job title? Queen. Okay. Let's try this again. Now with a proper profile picture. I'm hoping we can get at least one girl to match with us today. <laughs> sure. Sure. Why is there- Oh! I can do this. Swipe. It was not a match. This person is literally just a car. Swipe right, I'll hit you up. Okay, bet. Uh, where- Where are the- Where are the women? Oh, please. Please. Where are the women? Am I not pretty enough? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Nike ambassador? Uh, no what? Oh, okay, alright. So the person with the dog is talking to me. Oh hi, glad you liked her. It's a girl. So cute. She looks edible. Where are you, Jack? Come on, Jack. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to save this. I wrote a poem for you. Do you want to see? Please let me like people! Please! I see a pretty girl here! Please get away! Go away! I want to like her! Please! Stop! My god, did I just get ghosted? Did I? Is this what happens when you start off with she looks edible? Yeah, okay, probably not my best move. Oh, I matched with this person! Oh yeah! Hi! <laughs> you know what? If Jack won't accept me, then I'm going to go for Ken. Maybe then I'll have a man that treats me right. One eternity later. Oh my god! Okay, rule number one of rising. Reply to the lady, please! Oh, I bet you have lots of ladies waiting for you, don't you, Ken, huh? I bet you feel you're real slick with a bunch of women in your Tinder DMs. Well, can your Tinder women write poetry like I can? I wrote a poetry inspired by your Tinder page. Would you like to read it, please? Alright, I'm gonna stop this and we're gonna come back later when someone gives a shit. Two hours later. Um, hi. Hey, so it is uh, two hours later now. I accidentally fell asleep just now, but I have awoken to Tinder notifications. Jack has just completely ghosted me, and you know what? I'm going to just give a mature response. If you ghost me, I will turn you into a ghost, Jack. Okay, he said, sure, why not, love? <gasps> I see we have a Rizzler in the chat as well. By the way, wanna add each other on IG and send there? Here's mine. I prefer Tinder first. I don't use Instagram anymore. Because I'm getting stalked there <laughs> by my dad. <laughs> Here is the poem. Ken, oh Ken, the one I meant on Tinder. You're always up for fun with your heart so tender. From museums to parties, you love it all. Your energy and spirit always standing tall. Your fashion sense is impeccable and fine. A true lover of style, one of a kind. Every time we meet, you're dressed to impress. A man of taste, I must confess. I've fallen for your smile and your charm. Your water and wit like a healing balm. When we're together, time just flies. Our connection growing stronger as we share our lives. I never knew love could feel so true until the day I met someone like you. Can my heart beats just for you? And I hope you feel the same way too. So here's a love poem to you, my dear. May it bring a smile and wipe away any fear. I promise to love you in good times and bad and cherish you always just like we've had. Can I have some 
beat that? Oh my god, he's hiding. He's hiding. Why is your dad stalking you on Instagram? Okay, don't tell anyone I told you this, but I think he's jealous. <laughs> he think he's jealous of the boys I meet. <laughs> oh god, I'm scared. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed, aren't I? Oh god, this was not a good idea. Do you have any other socials? I'm not on Tinder as well. You can give me your number. Oh no 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 no. Okay, let me just try to ignore that. Oh, we're protective there, haha. <laughs> yeah. That's why my mom left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> One time when I was eight, my cat ran away from home, so my dad took a raw piece of chicken and told me that was her. I feel sorry for laughing. My sense of humor is broken for TikTok, girl, same. It's not bad. He's being so normal. I feel bad. Do you have a TikTok, maybe? TikTok, I haven't gotten it yet because I heard a rumor that there is a spirit on it that possesses people. Pregnant? <laughs> I can't! I'm so scared! They like my humor! I'm not joking! It's real! My friend downloaded the app and now she's so dumb. It must be the work of a goosebooky! <laughs> Also, I am pregnant. Why am I not scaring him? Why can't I? Come on. I want to get to know you. You should have a phone number, right? Yes, but I'm a bit worried of sharing it online. But I can give you because I like you. Hee <laughs> hee. I think I'm gonna give up on Ken. He's not. He's, tr he's really trying to get my phone number. I I think he found out that it was actually Domino's. Do I fake my death? I feel like I'm bad for leaving Ken like this. Err. Uh, hmm. But whoopsies. I meant to send that to my dad. Hold on. Oh no, Ken. He found out I have Tinder. He said he's gonna download it to find me. I must go, Ken. I'm sorry. Love. <laughs> Maybe another day. In the future, our stars will align once more. Moi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so. These they are so desensitized. If someone did this to me, I would block them. But they are chill. <laughs> This person. Hello, why such a cute girl like you on Tinder? Watch this. To meet cute guys like you, silly. <laughs> why are your profile pics so blurry? Is it you trying to run away from me, darling? I love you. It's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious for you, baby girl. I'm so sweet. Be careful now. I might get. Second hand pregnancy. <laughs> Let me make it first hand. But ew! Oh ew! Okay, I'm the one who started it. I don't know why I'm ewing. But ew! Are you ready to take on the responsibilities of being a father? I have been looking. You see, I actually have a five month old. Her name is Lilibert. Will you father her, please? For real? Yes. She shits everywhere sometimes. But I love her. And I'm sure she will love you. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's all he has to say. Come on. Haha. <laughs> this isn't a joke. Please, father her. Yes. <laughs> I might not be ready to father her, but I'm ready to father you on bed. Damn! <laughs> She's crying, she wants to be fed. I will leave, I will go now. This is what you do when you're a father. Love, love! <laughs> okay, that's the end. That's the end of this experiment. I can't take any more. Hello everyone, it's been approximately a week and I bet we're all curious to see the ending of these stories. Now let's check in with them. So first of all, it's Ken and uh, I think I have committed a grave sin 
of turning a man who was only down for hookups to wanting to become my husband. So as you remember, he told me to come back. And then he followed that up with, you can't leave unless I have your number. I rate that a 7 out of 10, sounds a tad bit possessive to me. Uh, and then on Friday, he messaged me, you're a non-drinker and non-smoker and goes to the gym every day. I need to wipe you up. I did not respond to that because, well, I was lying. I rate Ken a solid uh, 8 out of 10 in total. Quite a nice guy. He understood my humor even though I didn't want him to think I was joking. Next up, we have the guy that refuses to stop trying to bone me. Now this guy has been absolutely relentless. He has been messaging me up until yesterday. I have not replied to him after pretending to go feed my daughter. When I said that, he replied with good mom, can I see some of your pics? Can't see my darling. Clearly when you're wearing a mask, hee hee. And then on Thursday, he asked hello. On Friday, he asked where have cute mommy went? Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Excuse me? And then a whole weekend later, he asked, Anyone? I'm rating this guy a solid 3 out of 10. He did not ask me how my fake 5 month old daughter was. Thank you all for watching and thank you again to Display for sponsoring this video. And I will see you in the next one. Surprise punch.